Good morning children, back with Miss Lydia again. Today we are going to learn about the sun's rays reach the earth. Our topic is the perpendicular and oblique rays. Climate, weather, and temperature are strongly affected by the amount of solar radiation received at Earth. And one of the factors to how much solar radiation our Earth receives is by its position to the Sun. Here we have the equator. The equator divides our Earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. We also have the prime meridian, which divides our Earth into the eastern and the western hemisphere. And look at those lines. Can you see the latitude and the longitude? they making our earth into grids. You know that Earth orbits the sun, right? And that it takes a full year for our planet to complete its orbit? Earth also rotates like a slightly tilted spinning top. Earth remains tilted in the same direction all year round as we orbit the sun. But that means the sun's light shines differently on Earth at different times of the year. Let's look at Earth when it's winter in the northern hemisphere. Observe how the North Pole tips away from the sun this means that sunlight strikes the northern hemisphere at a shallow angle for a short period of time. This is why winter weather is generally cool with short days and long nights. As Earth orbits the sun, we move towards spring in the northern hemisphere. Now Earth is tilted neither toward nor away from the sun, as day and night are about equal in length. As we make our way to the summer months, notice that Earth is still tilted in the same direction, only now on the other side of our orbit. The North Pole is tipping toward the Sun. Sunlight strikes the Northern Hemisphere more directly, and the Sun stays in the sky for a longer time. Compared to winter, summer days are warmer, and the Sun stays in the sky much longer. Notice too that while it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Because of Earth's tilt, the seasons are reversed. Okay, now let's get back to our topic, perpendicular rays and the oblique rays. Look at this picture. Do you notice the difference? Can you see that oblique rays hits wider area on the Earth's surface?
for the first one, we're going to talk about when the sun's rays strike the equator at a right angle. And as we're doing this, we can ask the students why it's so important that the rays strike the Earth at a right angle. As the light is shining down on the black paper, I could trace the light or I could invite another volunteer to trace the center of the flashlight, how it's shining down on the paper. And then I would ask the students what shape they see. And we have a circle. Now I'm going to take the second sheet of paper and I'm going to hold the flashlight, or my volunteer would hold the flashlight at an angle. And again, I would ask a student, or I could do it myself, to trace the shape of the light. And then ask the students what shape they see there. And they would say an oval or an ellipse. From these pictures, we could have a discussion with the students and explained that the same amount of light was shining down onto the paper for both demonstrations, with the circle and with the ellipse. But within the circle, the same amount of light or radiation is in a smaller space. When we held the flashlight at an angle, we had the same amount of light or sun's radiation shining on the paper, but it was in a larger space. So the circle had a more concentrated amount of radiation than with the ellipse. This picture may help you to understand a little bit more of what happened in our last demonstration. Here at the, pole, the North Pole, the sun's rays are striking the Earth in a larger area. We can see this by the light up here. Here, where we, when we come down to the equator, where the sun's rays are striking the Earth at a right angle, they hit in a smaller area. So we have the same amount of rays coming to the Earth, but when it hits at an oblique angle, it's covering a larger area than when it hits at a right angle and it covers a smaller area. The students can check if they would like to, to see that the rays are about the same size. To check and see that, again, it is the same amount of rays of radiation hitting the Earth, but depending on the angle, the space that it's reaching over is larger or more concentrated.